All right, Cyber Cybertruck Roundup. Yeehaw! The Cybertruck Roundup. So we got the new Cybertruck Aero wheel covers are shipping, and Elon said, these are great. I, I <laughs> want one. We don't have them yet. But. I know. I, I want to <laughs> see how good they are. That's great. Chuck Cook says, in yesterday's video of the Tesla ADAS operators validating FSD supervised version 12.5, it was observed that one of the vehicles is possibly using Starlink Mini. Elon also wondering if you can help clear up if the Cybertruck is still in line to get FSD with the release of 12.5 as previously estimated. And Elon said, yes, Cybertruck full self-driving releases with 12.5, which also finally merges the city and highway code. OK, so it's supposed to happen at the end of June. Uh, it's now July, but uh, it's, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> and then uh, Meek Mills just got his black Cybertruck. And Elon said, cool. So. This is a kind of sad story. Uh, Madison and Daniel Jerez, they operate an ice cream business in Bellbrook, Ohio. It's named Cyber Cream Dayton, and they operate it out of the back of their Cybertruck. But unfortunately, this happened to them. A vandal came and smashed all of their windows, and so they can no longer operate the business. Um, I'm sad to say that a vandal, 29-year-old Courtney Piotrowski from Richmond, Indiana, came onto the Harris's property, smashed all the windows on the Cybertruck while two kids were inside it, by the way. And because Tesla won't be able to replace their windows until September, Cybercream won't be able to conduct business this summer. So did this vandal target this business because they were using a Cybertruck? She allegedly had already vandalized a home on the same block a few minutes earlier, smashing their propane tanks. So it doesn't look like she was targeting anyone in particular, just random acts of violence that have now affected this family's business. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. And the sad thing is because, you know, Cybertruck isn't fully in production, it, I guess it's hard to get all of the glass they'll need to them fast. So Tesla, if you can do anything to get them their glass faster so they can get back up and running, because it sounds like I was reading their Facebook and everyone loved this ice cream shop, you know, on wheels. That's um, so fun. Yeah. And it appears that someone bought a Cybertruck and then shipped it to Israel so they could drive it around there. But according to Israeli tech blog SeaTech, state procedures require that personally imported vehicles undergo a formal inspection at a licensing garage after leaving the port. However, the Ministry of Transportation has objections in the specific case of the Tesla Cybertruck due to its resistance to gunfire. Currently, a special permit is required to drive a bulletproof vehicle in Israel, and the ministry has chosen not to grant this permit until the inspection is completed. So what if they don't issue the permit? Load it back on the boat! <laughs> Maybe you could sell it to someone in a nearby country like Cyprus or Egypt or something? I guess. I didn't know that bulletproof was a rule against. I thought that was a good thing. Well... Shucks. <laughs> well, let's go to a country that is permitting Cybertruck. Last Thursday, Canada's transport department issued an exemption to the Cybertruck from the minimum steering angle requirement, which will allow Cybertruck to now un enter Canada. Oh, because the Cybertruck has the steer by wire instead of the traditional steering linkage. Right. So I think Canada found this regulation. Which they hadn't ever specifically said you couldn't do this, but they found a regulation that kind of was like... Oh, hang on. Mm. Um, but they're making an exemption to it. So uh, Tesla Cybertruck X account then posted that it still plans to launch Cybertruck in Canada this year. So Canadians, let us know in the comments if you're excited. That's pretty exciting. Um, and then another sad but good story. Gregor Truck posted this from John M. in Auburn, California. Uh, a guy crossed over the double yellow and I could not get out of the way fast enough. We were both at highway speeds. My wife, granddaughter, and I were all shaken and are being evaluated at the emergency room. And I'm bored, hence the reason for the post. No critical injuries. The other guy was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. We were spun but not flipped. Thank you, Tesla Engineering and Manufacturing. This truck gave its life for us. I'll be getting another. And yeah, uh... I mean, imagine being T-boned by a Ford Explorer and being able, being fine. Wow. And if you want to read more about this, go to Cybertruck Owners Club, where which is where he posted. And they help sponsor the show every week. And that's where we find all this really cool Cybertruck news. And there's so much more there. So head on over there. You can also see their tracker so you can find out where you are in line and when you're going to get your Cybertruck. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.